Our next guest is a viral sensation with up to 100 million views per month across his channel. Okay, so he's best known for his intricate dog creations you've seen there, like but Nicki Minaj, Ice Spice, Rihanna, and Ariana Grande have all gotten the treatment from this man. Please welcome Joshua David McKinney! <laughs> Thank you so much for oh having me. Oh my gosh. Incredible. Your dolls are so beautiful. How did all of this get started? Well, I started about, maybe about 10 years ago. I was working as a fashion illustrator and I got interested in doll making and kind of taking my 2D art and making it 3D and just very slowly taught myself everything that I needed to know to make my own doll. Okay, so yeah. Barbie, I feel like, has taken over the world recently. Yeah. But these dolls are not your average dolls. How do you come up with the actual forms you're then creating into these intricate pieces of art? Well, it starts with a sculpture. So I start with the doll sculpt. So I sculpt digitally on a computer. Um, and then I 3D print it. And uh, then molds are made. And then that's how like reproductions are made. And then each one I hand paint. I make the wigs. I orchestrate the clothing design. I shop for the fabric. Uh, each doll is different and one of a kind. But Pigeon is the name of the doll sculpt. So that's why. Uh, is, the videos that, yeah. are so soothing. So, to this part voice. of it is your yeah. voice yeah. too, Joshua. ASMR Just say, experience. Like, Welcome to Access Hollywood. Welcome, Welcome, Welcome to Access Hollywood. See you right now. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. I, I also feel like the, the dolls' expressions are a big deal. All of your dolls, most of them look like they could, you know, care less about the experience. You know, they're, oh. they're, they're like, ah. They cannot be bothered. Yeah, well, couldn't be bothered. Yeah. So unbothered. Painting the faces is definitely my favorite part. It's really amazing what you can do and how you can change the face sculpt with makeup and the eyebrows and the eyelashes and really get a lot of different, like, emotions and things. It's my favorite part. Well, get excited at home. Come on over. You brought yeah. some. Let's start with yeah. the poodle dolls. And in general, um, how do you come up with all the different themes that you're doing? Uh, you know, it's we, sometimes I just kind of start painting a face and then the doll sort of slowly organically comes together as I like. So I start with the makeup look and then I'll try on different wigs or I'll start playing around with stuff. Yeah, and visit. then uh, so these are all called the I call them the TikTok dolls because <laughs> each one had their own video that uh, th so this is the this is one of five poodles in the poodle collection that I decided to keep for myself. And then uh, this doll here is actually made for a toaster pastry uh, TikTok oh, ad. Perfect. I can't say the name of it, but you can guess what toaster oh, right. pastry yes. is. Yes. Yes. You put it in the uh, toaster yeah. and it pops and, up. You know, I'm, I'm known for doing these sort of very dramatic looks. So a lot of people were calling for me to do like a more natural neutral look. So that's sort of the girl in the center, even though sort of my version of a neutral look. That's the yeah. neutral? Mm, yeah. Don't you think this one looks like me with her yeah. little white, the pink one? This girl yeah. right here is the neutral? She's neutral, <laughs> yeah. It's, ne it's neutral, not natural. And then, yeah. <laughs> and then this is Kit Kat. There yeah, I am, yeah. in my pink. This is oh, definitely yeah. a dress you would wear, for sure. Yeah. How long, in general, does it take to make one? I know each one's different. Yeah, I mean, I would say, usually when people ask, I try to give myself about three to four weeks to make a doll, but everyone is different. Like, I did a music video for Nicki Minaj and Ice Spice, and I had three days to get that all done, so I had to call all my resources, and we were able to pull it off, but... And you we've know, got so, those dolls oh, yeah. for you yeah. later. Oh, yeah, we're digging yeah, into that in a little bit. Do you also do, though, like, these are, like, the posable dolls, mm -hmm. but you also do like marionettes and masks. Come over I here. do, yeah. Oh I would. I like to sort of see where I can take the doll expression into different areas. So um, this is. A, I've always loved marionettes. So this is a marionette that I made, and uh, I'm still kind of learning how to she maneuver scares me. her. I was going to say, I'm going to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to see her walk? I do, can of. you make her walk? I'm, not, I'm uh -oh. not great at it, but oh, she freaks me out, Scott. Get it, girl. Scott, I'm get coming it, for you. Scott. Ooh, she's Scott. bad. Scott. Scott, get it, girl. <laughs> She really, got like a gal. Really, really her best, she's best sort of feature when she just kind of, did, her movements are very sort of subtle and sweet like that. Look at her face. You're totally right yeah. with the face, Scott. I'm into it. She says, do not mess with me. Look at her head going back and forth. She's like, mm -hmm. do you really want to try it? Is that what you want to do? She can do a little I don't way, think yeah. that's what you oh, want to do. <laughs> what about the mask? These masks are beautiful. Yeah, thanks. I just started making them. So this is actually a very similar one that I just made for a music video that's not out yet that I can't talk about. Sure you It'll can. be coming out really just soon. Just us. Just us. I'll tell you later. But, <laughs> Um, yeah, so this is the pigeon doll face sculpt in a mask form. So you can sort of like. Wow. Go to a party with yeah. that, Scott. Yeah. What's up, kid? Oh, yeah. yeah. You hey, are girl. beautiful. <laughs> hey, girl. Hey. Watch yourself. <laughs> <laughs> That's these so are, fun. Now, do you you said that it takes about four weeks to, to, to get one of these finished. Mm -hmm. How much are they going for? Can I ask that question? Is that improper or, to ask? Just, yes, you, they are for sale. Yeah. Uh, when I do sell, I sell them in collections from time to time. Most of the dolls that I make now are just for like sort of social media content. Okay. Yeah. But um, the last collection I sold, each one was about twenty five hundred dollars. 
So, you know, Way people, to be. Buy, people, yeah. people collect them as art pieces. They're exactly. Not, they're not it for is, children. It, it is, absolutely is yeah. art. Yeah. Okay, we mentioned it before the yes. celeb inspired dolls. Tell us is about this the collection. Is this Ice Spice? Yeah. Look at how cute. Do you notice her little necklace? I oh do. Gosh. Yeah. This is so good. Thanks. Tell us yeah. about each one. Josh. So these were both made for the Nicki Minaj and Ice Spice video, Princess Diana, that came out before the Barbie movie. Right. Because they collaborated twice. So first they did Princess Diana, which I made the dolls for, and then uh, they collaborated again for the Barbie movie, and Mattel made their own versions of them. But these are these are the originals. That are in the video, They're which I think video, is so yeah. cool. Yeah. And then we got a little Billie Eilish. Yes, Billy. You're on the I, end. So I also um, I do a show called Tiny Hair that's on Snapchat, and we do sort of celebrity, uh, real time celebrity makeovers where we do. So the hair is actually natural alpaca hair, so you can dye it and heat style it. And Wait, you, tiny hair! Yeah, I gotta go watch you this. Have that's to go the see greatest it. thing. So yeah, you can actually watch a video where we dye her roots neon green like that, or we do this rainbow look on Cardi B, and it's real. It's real hair dye. Like, this one is Cardi. Mm -hmm. Cardi. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we're That's about incredible. to reveal one of your latest projects. Yes. Walk over here. Wait, is it really going to happen? Yes, <laughs> we need like a drum roll. Well, because I know he was on the fence about maybe he was going to show it, maybe oh, he nice. was going to show it. Oh, yes. Okay, what is in the dome? Okay, ready? Ready. Yes. Oh. Just in time for the Emmys. So beautiful. Yeah. That's what they should hand out. Tell us everything. So this is my sculpture of Divine, also known as Harris That's Glenn Milstead. So um, she is uh, hailed as one of the greatest drag artists of the 20th century. She, uh, you might know her, she was the muse of John Waters, and she was also the inspiration for Ursula from Disney's Little Mermaid. Yes. They based the animation on her. But she was so much more than that, and she's really just such an icon and integral part of queer culture, and I wanted to pay homage to her and create this idol to this subversive drag artist who it's I absolutely so adore. It's so beautiful. This needs to be handed out at some award I show. I say at some like, award let's show. let's mass produce this one. This is great. It's yeah, incredible. She's, she's a limited edition sculpture that we're doing. We're doing 200 of her. And uh, so we just the opposite started of mass yeah. 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 I said, we got to get this out here. Yeah. Yeah. So you said 200? Yeah, there's, it'll be an edition of 200. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. And so if someone was like, I got to get one of these, I got to get my hands on it, yeah. how do they do it? So you can, you can order them on my website, which is pigeondoll.com. P I D G I N D O L L. And uh, yeah, she's up for sale and ready to be ordered. Joshua, you are so talented. Incredible. Thank you for sharing your art with us. This was awesome. You can head to Joshua's website and social media pages to check out more of his incredible creations. Wow. We'll be right back. Wow.